Hey everybody, it's Jasmine, your licensed nail aficionado, back with another video. Okay, so here is a tip. So when you are finished with your tip boxes or bags, reuse them. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So these are um, the boxes for my tips. I'm going to clean them out, rename them, reorganize them, and use them in a different way. So that way, I don't have to spend money on more things to hold more nail stuff. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you what I, I have mean. my um, tip containers. What I'm going to do is... place my Swarovski crystals inside of these jars and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that so first things first I'm going to pull this out my nail I'm going to take this paper out of here and so I don't break my nail I'm going to use some scissors okay I'm just gonna pop this one out, All right? Because I no longer need that. These will no longer be tips. I'm also gonna remove um, this tape from there. So next, what I'm gonna do is take, you see how you can still see like some tips and stuff inside of here? So I'm just gonna shake that out. Okay. All right. So now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to, and this is so simple, y'all. Like, I know you always see those, um, those jars online of, um, people having their Swarovski crystals in there and the jars are like I mean the cases I can call them jars and the cases are like pricey I think um when I was looking to get one the case was like almost $60 and I'm like that's a lot for something that's just going to you know sit still and not really serve a purpose and I mean you can use these cases for anything like if they're good enough to hold our tips you know that we use they're good enough to hold our crystals hold our foils hold all of our nail art stuff so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to wipe this out wipe to clean it even though it's not dirty i'm just i'm not ocd but i believe in stuff before you put other stuff in the stuff and it ain't even clean like ew okay wipe and at the inside I'm not worried about this price tag. Can I get it off? Oh, oh I might make a mess. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. All right, so now, that this is nice and disinfected. I'm gonna go ahead and Right now, you definitely want to make use of every single thing you possibly can make use of. And this here is a good example of that. So now that it's 
clean and it's dry. I'm going to go ahead and take my Swarovski crystals. I'm going to open them up. And if you know, for my nail techs out there, when you spend money on Swarovski crystals, honey, you do not want to lose them. I purchased these um, from one of those arts and crafts stores. I'm not exactly sure which one, but they had a sale um, maybe a couple of months ago, I think. And it was, you know, good enough for me to buy some stones. But Swarovski crystals are so expensive. It's such... Um, it's a good investment, but it's a pricey investment. So what I'll do is... This part always makes me nervous because I'm always sad if I, like, spill anything. So since they're all the same color, but they're different sizes, I'm going to coordinate this bin by color of crystals i'm not really going to focus on size because when it comes to size i can always visually see with my eye what i'm picking up or what i'm grabbing okay so save your money Stop buying all these expensive cases to hold your stones in. So, ha, look at that. Boom, can turn it upside down. Still ain't gonna go nowhere. Still ain't gonna go nowhere. Right back in the cave. Okay. Some of them got stuck on top. They'll fall down. Let me see if I can knock it down. Yep. So, I'm gonna keep working on this. I'm gonna fill it up based on color and not size and i'll just keep going um <laughs> inexpensive container <laughs> so now i can truly say i am 
getting my money's worth when it comes to purchasing, you know, these tips. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. And I look forward to sharing another video with you all rather soon.